Good morning. Yeah. It's race day. It's race day. <laughs> the first one of the year. We are in Abu Dhabi in the UAE for the first race of the season. World Rallycross this year. Partners is here, car is here, team is here, we are ready. Yeah, we fought really hard during the winter and now we are here in, in Abu Dhabi with this new team, with the, the greatest guys we know and it's really exciting to get started. I'm Susanne Hansen and I'm team manager in Team Hansen MJP. Yeah, we are a real rallycross family. It's uh, Kenneth Hansen. My husband. Kenneth Hansen from Sweden, Götene, and uh, team principal. We have the two sons, Timmy and Kevin, both drivers in the team. And surrounding us, we also have our big family, as we say, which is the mechanics, the engineers, uh, the communication people. So it's a small and big family in one. Yeah, it's the first race of the season and I think to begin with we have to do our job as good as we can do it um, and not focus too much on the others but get into our sweet spots uh, in our team and get this crew working perfectly together. I'm just so happy to be here, uh, to be again in, in the championship after what happened, you know, it feels great. So uh, really eager to get started, to feel the track, it looks amazing. Kevin Hansen back in the car. He finished the season in last year, the car that Timmy Hansen started in. It's the early evolution of the 2018 car, which they both looked very comfortable in. I didn't want to do anything stressed or any stupid mistake, so just want to run through the first heat of Team as an MEP and what the start to this team. I love it. Do you think that you and Kevin would be topping the timesheets at the end of Q1? No, I mean, what a start uh, to this season in, in this new team. Like, We have worked, as we've said a hundred times, so hard, harder than ever, to just be here. Yeah, this is the perfect start uh, for the team and to have my brother and I, one and two. Uh, it's like a, I'm quite touched by the, by the work the guys have done, uh, that we are just here. And, and to get this result, it's, it's a huge relief to know we are there, it's working. Car was fantastic this run, but it was only Q1, but I'm already very happy. What happened there? What? I looked twice. Hansen, Hansen. Oh, wow. So we have only done like 20% of the race. Uh, so we got still three quarter points left. We got semi and the final, and it's a long, long way to go. Okay, debrief. Debrief. Q2 uh, was, was really close uh, between me and Andreas, but I had I have more speed from the Joker, and I was like 100% committed to, to take that first place. I, I just knew that was the first place was mine right there. 
We were so, so close. I don't know, I didn't hesitate for one second. That made it a perfect day today. Really cool to be one and three after the first day. Really grateful. You need to be glad in the moment you have, so I was really happy for them. Starting to get going, I'm, I'm quite nervous uh, to see what happens. You, you know, you just want to get started, especially after a good day before. This one was really good. I think I did what I what I could. So uh, let's see how it holds up for the for my brother. You know, that is, that is actually the nightmare you're afraid of. I've seen a lot of rallycross. What happened to Timmy there was, uh, was one, one of the worst things I've ever experienced. Not only that his, his car was broken, but he was heartbroken. It was so hard on him because he was there doing everything right. He was in the flow, as you say, and someone just ripped that away from him. So on the day before I had overtaken him in the exact same moment, but as he was counting the laps wrong and he was going flat out to pass the finish line, like really from nowhere, it's one of the biggest hits that I've ever had in a car. It was like so hard in the side and, and just like that, you know, my, my weekend was over. It was not nice for sure for Timmy not to be there, but uh, you know, I felt like, okay, now I will do my thing and I will go flat out and just try to make a good result for the team. Of course, the expectations came to Kevin. Kevin had never been on the podium in the World Championship race. So to take it from there and to take it to a victory, that's, that's hard. My crash is to see Kevin do well. He was flying. He was motivated, he was smiling, so I think that's exactly how he needs to be to perform good.
think I was leading for so long and I felt like I had it in my hands for sure, then it was kind of like a yay, no moment. Uh, I really wanted and I really felt we had that win, which was uh, a shame to be to be finishing second, but you know, still my first podium and we did it, you know, so competitively, which was really nice to feel and to see. After a few days, the second place would feel great. After the time with Niklas, uh, the stewards decided to take a look and in the end he got a penalty so we, we swift the place and, and I'm the winner. Winners! <laughs> of course it's not what you dream about to win in the stewards room. Uh, Granholm also drove a fantastic race um, but uh, I think it was the right decision they made. Uh, but I think Kevin is also very keen to actually cross the finish line first and step up on the podium to really get his first place. You know, we, we both have more to work for, even though Kevin had the perfect weekend, 30 points and leading the World Championship.